those of you who just want a nice quick video, I guess the answer to the question is yes. It's worth using the best cables you can. It makes a small difference. It can make a big difference depending on your particular setup. For me, it's made about a 3% difference in power on the solar panels that I use. So the question I was actually answering there was, is it worth using thicker cable for solar extensions? Uh, I think a big mistake that people make when they start out with solar is they think that they can extend solar uh, panels to their house or something like that by using just thin cable. Of course, solar is all about current. It carries a lot of current. If you've got a good, good sunshine, a solar panel cable can be carrying 9, 10, 11, 12 amps of current. For that, you're going to need some good cables. But really here I'm talking about the difference between an okay cable, 14 AWG, so 2.5 millimeters squared, and something like 10 AWG, which is six millimeters squared. Quite a lot thicker and a little bit more unwieldy to use. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take my four Renogy panels, I've got four 175 watt panels, and I know from experience over the last year that they all perform pretty much identically. You can have the same, well, if the sun's in the right position, you can have pretty much identical wattage across them. So I thought what I'd do is I'd take the two, because they're wired, they take two are taken out into one PV input, two are taken out into another, and I thought I'd take two of them and replace it, I'd replace the 12 AWG with 10 AWG and see if it made a difference, just, just because. Overall, I have seen about a 3% improvement in power over the old panels, and of course, the sun, again, I have to say, this is only when the sun is in the right position because other things can affect, because the panels are in slightly different places, it can be affected by the angle and stuff like that. So let's just take the times of the day when the sun is pretty much identically shining down on those panels. And yeah, I see about a 3% difference in power. 12 AWG was never a problem. It's not like the cables got warm. It not like, it's not like they couldn't carry the current or anything like that. They are well over spec for the amount of current I'm ever going to be using. But... Investing in slightly better cable has seen three to maybe sometimes a little bit more, maybe sometimes a little bit less. So let's say two and a half to three and a half percent increase in power, which is pretty much nothing, right? It, it makes hardly any difference. But the, the question I was asking here was, does it make a difference and is it worth it? You can decide if it's worth it. That's up to you whether you want to invest in the better cable. But does it make a difference? Yeah, it does.